All right, now here is something interesting I wanted to show you guys with regard to the wearable application on Samsung Galaxy phone. Now, this is the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I've connected the latest uh, Galaxy Watch Ultra on this phone and uh, I have uh, got the Galaxy S22 Ultra here and have connected the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic on this phone here. Now, let me go to the wearable application and uh, show you the version number here. You see the version number is 2.2.59.2406.1361. So the version number is same on both these applications. However, if you connect the latest devices, the Galaxy Watch Ultra, Galaxy Watch 7 or the Galaxy Buds on your wearable application on the phone, you will get different interfaces. Now let me just open wearable application on both these phones. Now like I said, on the S24 Ultra, we've got the Watch Ultra and uh, on the S22 Ultra, we've got the Watch 6 Classic. Now you can notice there is a difference between these two two applications, the interface here on the wearable app. And this happens when you connect the latest device on your Galaxy phone. And the brand new version of wearable looks pretty cool, but there is one small issue I have got. You see, this is the uh, icon here for uh, connections. And we have got the menu option here for uh, connecting a new device. And I will have to tap on this icon to uh, add a new device here. And here I need to tap on this hamburger menu to uh, tap on the plus button here to add a new device. We've got add new device mentioned here. We've got plus button mentioned here. And the remove device is here on the older version. And uh, on the newer version, we've got remove device right here. And we have got settings option here and setting icon here. Now, uh, this page looks good. However, if you look at this icon here, it is kind of overlapping these settings options here and it doesn't look that great. When you swipe up, it looks fine. It is at the bottom, but when you scroll down, it is overlapping these uh, options here which doesn't look that great. Now that is something which I don't like on the newer version, but let me tell you what has changed on the newer version here when you connect the newer devices. You see, we have got uh, watch faces, app screen, tiles, and quick panel icons are uh, stacked up uh, vertically here. Now let me tap on watch faces here. Let's see what has changed on the newer version. You see, it looks much more uh, organized here on the newer version. We have got manage option here uh, to manage the watch faces. We have got this icon here, we can tap on this. And when I tap on manage here, you will get the same page. It's more or less same page that we have. And when I tap, I tap on this drop down menu, you see most recent customer name. And when I tap on this three dot button, you will see share option. Now let me go back. Now here you see, we've got all the watch faces. I will be able to see uh, about four watch faces here on this. And here I'll be able to see only three watch faces. So I'll have to scroll towards the right to see the fourth one. So this is something new and this is actually useful. And when I scroll down, you can see uh, again, you have got all the categories here. And in fact, on the newer version, we've got more categories because we've got more watch faces, new informative watch faces for the Galaxy Watch 7 series. And uh, you can also see when you scroll down all the way to the bottom, we've got downloads. And after that, we've got more watch faces on the Google Play, whereas on the newer version, we've got browse by keyword and then more watch faces on Google Play. Now I can tap on this to browse the watch faces by keyword and uh, we have got some uh, preset keywords here. Analog, battery, black, blue, casual, character, classic, digital, graphical, green. I can tap on weave all to add some more tags here uh, so that I will be able to easily search uh, the watch faces by keyword. Now let's say I want to search a uh, watch face in blue. I'll tap on blue. You see all the watch faces with blue color will show up right here. Now let's say I want to search analog watch faces. I can tap on analog. You will see all the analog watch faces here. If I want to search digital, I can only search digital watch faces. So the the watch face search is much more streamlined now and it has enhanced and improved. You will be able to search the watch faces by keyword by tapping on browse keyword option. Now let's go back. You've got app screen. Let me tap on app screen here. This looks exactly the same. There is no change here. Now let's tap on tiles. Again here you see there is no change as such. We have got manage button right here in a small font and we have got all these tiles right here. And we can scroll down to see more tiles here. Let me cancel this. Let me go all the way down and see what is there. Now let me just cancel this. Let's go to quick panel. Again, quick panel layout is the same. There is no change as such. So there are some new changes we have got on the uh, variable application when you connect the new devices on your Galaxy phone. It's kind of strange. It is not even a new version. The version number seems to be same on both the variable applications. There are new features available when you connect the newer watches. There is a new interface as well. And I wish this interface comes to the other phones as well. And I'm also not sure whether uh, this new interface is only for the latest devices or only when you connect the latest Galaxy watches. You let me know if you have connected 
connected your latest Galaxy watches, the Galaxy Watch 7 series or the Buds on your uh, Galaxy phone and uh, uh, let me know whether you're getting the new interface or the old interface of wearable application. Drop a comment and let me know and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that like button if you find this video useful and if you're interested in this wallpaper here you can go ahead and check out the link in the description and download that. Uh, all the credit goes to the wallpaper designer I'm just sharing with you guys so go ahead download it if you like it. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.